Hi there. The Teacher Foundation welcomes you to TTF Reads, a podcast of insightful writings by well-known and respected educationists. Teachers lead busy and stressful lives and they are always hard-pressed for time to read for professional growth. So we at TTF are happy to read to you from our favorite writers on education. You can listen to TTF Reads while you commute, cook, or do your household chores. TTF Reads would be a great way for you to listen and learn while you go about getting routine tasks done. We begin TTF Reads with a review of a book I have personally enjoyed reading two decades ago. The book is called What is Worth Teaching? Why do we teach the way we teach? What is the purpose of what we teach? Could we teach in other ways? As teachers, teacher educators or anyone connected with education, we rarely get to reflect or understand our work in schools and classrooms within the context of the bigger historical, socio-political setting of the country. It never seems to be part of the training and induction process for the average Indian teacher. But it is a vital aspect and Dr. Krishna Kumar who retired as professor of education at the Department of Education Delhi University and who was also the former director of NCERT provides the Indian educator this valuable insight his extensive writings and views on indian education are unique in that they are thoughtful coherent incisive comments without the rhetoric that mars much of indian writing on education for those who have never been acquainted with Krishna Kumar's writings his book what is worth teaching would be an excellent start this is an old publication but it is a must read for anyone who is even remotely concerned with education in our country first published by Orion Longman in 1992 this revised and expanded edition is a slim compilation of seven lecture essays laid out as seven chapters what is worth teaching is the first chapter the other chapters are titled textbooks and educational culture implications of a divisive school system secularism its politics and pedagogy reading in primary school growing up male and listening to gandhi In the title essay what is worth teaching Kumar discusses the problem of the curriculum its disassociation from the child's immediate social cultural and physical milieu he rules the approach we have to curriculum in this country the problem of volume of content at any grade level does not originate in the so called explosion of knowledge he says it originates in the archaic notion of curriculum as a bag of facts and in the equally archaic view of teaching as a successful delivery of known facts unless we shed these notions and accept more modern humanist concepts of curriculum and teaching we are going to remain stuck as teachers with impossibly large syllabi and fat de- textbooks to cover to quote from the second essay A textbook is prescribed for each subject and the teacher has to teach it lesson by lesson until there are no more lessons to le- left to learn. This essay called Textbooks and Educational Culture explains the historical and socio-political reasons for the overarching importance given to textbooks in our education system right to the present day. He cites pertinent reasons including the use of English as a compulsory subject in the secondary school and as a medium of instruction and examination for the rise and perpetuation of the textbook culture. Kumar calls for improved teacher training and greater professional self-reliance and autonomy for the teacher in order to thin the textbook. In the next essay Implications of a Divisive School System Krishna Kumar argues that contrary to popular opinion our education system is backward and narrow I call it backward 
for a widely accepted reason namely its low capacity to produce or encourage excellence while his description of the narrow and divisive nature of the indian education system is certain to strike a rem- responsive chord amongst many educators it is also likely to be sidelined it is currently more fashionable to be writing about technology enabled solutions to the eternal education conundrum it cannot be disputed however that our divisive school education is indeed responsible in great measure for the increasing inequity and contradictions that typify indian society the problem begins very early on in the primary school that brings us to the fourth essay in this book To quote Kumar from Reading in Primary School, the school is not the place where the child can make sense of the world. Skills that any child would use to solve new problems have no place in grade 1 class. Indeed, making sense and solving problems are not on the agenda at all. What seems to be on the agenda is influencing and even subverting the teaching of history and civics in the country by exercising state control on textbook writing. Kumar elucidates this in the next chapter which is called Secularism its Politics and Pedagogy. If these essays don't have happy stories to tell it is because much ails our education system. and in such a situation it is vital for schools and teachers to play a more assertive and positive role in the lives of their students in the sixth essay growing up male kumar su- suggests such a role for schools we need to perceive the school in conflict with the community code of socialization he says while the larger social ethos offers stereotyped models of men's and women's roles the school must insist that adults working in it will not act in stereotyped or stereotyping ways another critical intervention on the part of the school would be to ensure that learning for the young child is related to his or her immediate life To make this happen Krishna Kumar recommends Mahatma Gandhi's basic education model reworked for present day relevance This comprises the seventh and final essay in what is worth teaching He puts forth an integrated curriculum design that incorporates health and hygiene nature and social study heritage craft toy craft expressive arts reading writing and maths Written in an easy narrative style, the book What is Worth Teaching takes the reader on a journey through the author's personal inquiry into education and his eloquent articulations on critical issues. While each of the essays may be read separately, they are interrelated too. The common thread running through them is the deep concern about the fractured, contradictory and divisive nature of curriculum and school knowledge in India and their insidious disempowerment of the teacher.